So what happened to the final contestant here? Didn't show up. Didn't show up. I should have did it, but oh well. in the coffin business, the waiting is the hardest price. All right, everybody, I think we're ready.
did you know last year, six brave souls spent 30 hours enclosed in wooden coffins right here in this very spot. And for 30 hours, they endured uncomfortable accommodations, terrifying surprises, rain, and sheer terror. As well, after 30 hours, sadly, all six survived. So we had a meeting with the evil creatures of the night, including my friend Grim Reaper over there, and we decided that we're never going to let that happen again. So over the next 30 hours, these poor souls in front of you will be subjected to overnight accommodations of the most uncomfortable kind. They will frequently be visited by evil and terrifying monsters, clowns, and aliens. They will compete in horrifying challenges that will test their courage and challenge their desire to go on. And by 11 p.m. tomorrow night, only these one of these poor wretched souls will be left. <laughs> that winner will walk away with $600, six flags, yes, and ten season passes. A prize. I'm sure they're all dying to win. So are you ready to meet our victims? I mean contestants? Yeah. Without further ado, let's meet them. First up, Talia. Talia thinks sleeping in confined spaces is comforting. Well, Talia, what is something is sleeping in the coffin with you? She once owned a tarantula, which all was cute. Our monsters are only cute when they feast on your brain. Scared yet? She likes to cope with scary situations by hearing her inner voice. Tonight, that voice will be saying, Get out! So, Talia, what scares you the most about tonight? Alright, get used to it. Get in your coffin. And Maria, if you please close your coffin. Next up, next victim. Megan. She says she started liking scary things when she was five years old. And her passion for horrific things has continued throughout her entire life. She says it would be her dream to live in a haunted house. That's weird. Well, Megan, tonight your dream will be a terrifying proportion. She says that she's not sure she can handle a challenge that involves worms. What about snakes and cockroaches? We'll see. Megan, what kind of scream would you make if you won this horrifying coffin challenge? Is that good enough? I think so. All right. Give it up for Megan. Here we go. Next up, Jonathan. First of all, Jonathan served our country in the U.S. Army. So please give him a round of applause and thank him for his service. That's the last nice thing I'll say to you tonight. Jonathan says he used, he's used to pure chaos, as he has a rather large family that includes three stepdaughters and a stepson. He hopes he can use this experience to deal with terrifying creatures that come around to see his daughters. Jonathan. Our clowns do have chainsaws. Tell me, Jonathan, what are you looking for the most about this horrific experience? Tip being over. Tip being over? All right, here in your coffin. Round of applause for Jonathan. Amy's contest entry was a very sweet poem about Frank Fest and eating candy out of Frankenstein's head. She spoke of seeing the undead walking on clouds and the sounds of evil laughter. Everybody, aww. Uh, well, tonight, Amy, your sweet little boy becomes a horrifying reality. The undead will be up close and personal in your coffin, and it won't be candy you'll be eating. It will be your brains, or maybe worse. So, Amy, I can't wait to see your sweet little boy next year. What do you think you'll hate most about tonight? Absolutely nothing. She's excited. All right, round of applause for Amy. Jesus. Jesus thinks Halloween is fun. But he thinks also going to school to become a mortician is fun as well. So consider the source. I guess Jesus, you're wanting to see what it's like to be in the shoes of your customers, right? He believes that he's going to use his time to catch up on some well-needed sleep. Rest in peace, Jesus. Rest in peace. So, what did you do to prepare for this challenge? A lot of research. How do you do research? Did you get the coffins with them? 
I said he was last year. Right, get in your coffin. Right. Round of applause for Jesus. So I would like to introduce our very last victim tonight. Poor Crispin thought he was coming to the park just to retrieve a lost cell phone for his daughter because he's a great dad. What he didn't know is that minutes later, he'd be signing up for the 30-hour coffin challenge. So guess what? His daughter doesn't get the cell phone tonight. Maybe he'll come home with $600 and a six black Fiesta Texas season pass. Are you ready, Crispin? I would ask you what you did to prepare for this, but I know it was absolutely nothing. So instead of a lost phone, hopefully it's not a lost soul. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, round of applause for Crispin. So one last time, ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for our six victims? Round of applause, please. Check back with us throughout the night. We'll also be Facebooking live and Instagramming live throughout the night, evening, and tomorrow. And be back with us at 11 o'clock tomorrow as we announce our 2019 Coffin Challenge winner. And what's the winner going to get? $600 cash, two six live season passes for $2,020, and an Express Haunted House cash. And bragging rights, of course. How did it start? We started it last year. It's really held at every Six Flags Park that celebrates Fright Fest. And we have different ways of executing it. We all have our various ideas. must be back within your allowed six minutes or you will be eliminated from this challenge. All righty, my contest contestants, you may now stand up. Remember, you do not have to go to the restroom if you do not need to, but if you need to, there's a restroom located down that way by the orange overhang. You'll see a giant sign for it. Or there's one right past Chopsticks in the retail area. Once again, you must be back within the six allotted minutes or you will be eliminated. And your break starts now. Since one minute, remember you must be laying down back in your coffin by the time your break is over. Seconds, so your break is over. 30 seconds. Stop the friendship challenge. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. This concludes your first break, ladies and gentlemen. And for those of you who do not know, we are doing the 30-hour coffin challenge. The potential to win $600 cash and two season passes. It's not all fun and games, though. There will be elimination challenges. I can't quite give you the details, but uh, just know things are going to get pretty intense. We'll start dropping like flies.